now to a story you'll see first on Fox, just 10 hours. That's all the notice Dorchester County gave its homeowners before they used aerial spraying to kill mosquitoes. Problem is, one local beekeeper says it also wiped out her whole colony of honeybees. Fox 24's Lara Rollo spoke exclusively with the owners of Flower Town Bees, and she has a story for us tonight. Lara. Hey there, Layla. Representatives in Dorchester County say it's the first time they've ever used aerial spraying. And that's because the county had experienced a spike in its mosquito population. They sprayed Sunday morning between 6.30 and 8.30. And the result is more than 2 million dead honeybees. It looked golden. The air looked golden down here with all the bees flying around. Beekeeper Juanita Stanley wells sanctuary. with pride. It was, it was a good place to be. When she talks about her bees. When I started this apiary, my mission was to raise healthy bees so that other beekeepers could have bees because it's just not that easy to find honeybees. A different feeling now. Most of them are gone. Today it's a morgue. It feels just like death to me down here. There's nothing. There's nothing left, really. Stanley is just the latest in a colony of keepers. My children's great, great, great grandfather, we have documentation and pictures of him having bees. There he is. Great, great, great grandpa Cass Fleming, buzzing with similar pride. Our bees are uh, uh, dying at a, an alarming rate, uh, by the thousands. Andrew Mackey's bees were also the unintended victim of aerial spraying. I can't wrap my head around aerial spraying poison. Mackey was the bearer of bad news for Stanley. You completely lost your whole business because somebody had or didn't have the knowledge to think that spraying a poison by airplane was a good idea. They know there's something wrong. They know that's bad, and they're trying to get them out of there to get that cleaned up. Notices surround Stanley's property. She's asking for understanding. They know that my bees are here, and they said that they would give me notice of any kind of treatment that they would be doing for mosquitoes or anything else. It's a notice Stanley says she never got, and a loss she says will take years to make up. And so far, there are no concrete plans for compensation, but Dorchester County representatives say they will be working with this community of beekeepers. They also say they're looking into the problem. Why did this happen? Is the spray too toxic for wildlife? These are all questions we will be following up on for Fox 24. Lara Rollo, Fox 24 News at 10.